shallow waters have thrilled and battered competitors at the Avon descent. This year marks 50 years of WA's famous river race and those taking part were determined not to be defeated by the rocky rapids. Rapid by rapid. The Avon River, a force to be reckoned with. Competitors back for more in the 50th Avon Descent. The final stretch of the punishing 124-kilometre trek, the toughest. Day one, the warm-up for what was to come today. It's the last section of trees and uh, we just messed up on a, one of the trees and flipped it. Couldn't get it going for a while and, yeah, we lost our lead. There was some last-minute maintenance to some battered boats. Three holes. One, two, three. And it's the roughest repair, but all that matters in the Avon is getting to the finish line. Low water levels making the race extra challenging. Those out in front not taking their lead for granted. I like these sort of levels because it gives you more... It's more about where you drive, not about just driving flat out racing. Any tactics going into today or any... Don't hit rocks. <laughs> yeah, don't hit rocks. Keep the boat in your own race. Yeah, yeah. We're not worried about anyone else. We're just trying to beat the river. But that was never going to be easy. The adrenaline junkies copped harsh hits on their way to the finish in Bayswater. The shallow waters make each knock in the rapids extra brutal. Some boats were too worse for wear after day one. They couldn't continue today. I mean, you still got Bayswater in your sights. You can do it. 100%. <laughs> In the end, last year's reigning powerboat champions were pipped by Michael Prosser and Justin Green. Noah Boldy and Olympian Jesse Phillips, the first paddling team to finish. Ben Carrick, again, the fastest solo paddler, but it was down to the wire. People were calling out down the valley how far I was behind, so it wasn't until the last 15k that I actually put some inroads in, so yeah, I'm very surprised and extremely happy. 50 years after Charlie Elliott crossed the finish in the first Avon, the 83-year-old did it again. Are you coming back next year? Ooh. <laughs> to ask that question. Everyone can now breathe a little easier. <laughs> After successfully tackling WA's famous river race. Stephen Thomas for 10 News First.